What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, It's been a long time, it's been a really long time, way too long actually, since we filmed our last video, and way too long since I filmed a video um, starting the build on this thing. So basically six weeks ago I had a not so bad crash, but uh, I broke my socket, I tore my labrum, and I separated my AC in my shoulder, so not a very good one. Uh, had surgery about five weeks ago to have it repaired, and finally out of the sling right now, and able to work on this thing. So I got Mikey coming over right now, but we have a lot of stuff to check up on this thing. So pretty excited to tear this thing down. If you hadn't seen the video where I bought this thing, it was uh, an 03, pretty much bone stock, uh, 250 two stroke. And I had mentioned that I was going to build this thing for a specific, re specific reason. And there was an end goal for this bike. And since then, I don't know, you probably follow me on Instagram. That's probably how you found this channel. But I announced that I'm gonna be racing straight rhythm on it, which is in like three months. So basically the way it's gonna work out is two months from now is my plan to have this thing completely built and ready to go race. Um, and then I'll be able to spend about a month on it, uh, a little less than a month, getting used to the two stroke. I've only ridden a two stroke one time, or a 250 two stroke one time. So I'm pretty excited to like go through all the motions of like figuring out, you know, the whole power band situation and figuring all that out on the supercross track as well so obviously going to take you guys along for the ride and, and kind of document the whole process that's the whole reason behind buying and building this thing was to bring you guys along show you guys like how i would want to build my two stroke which i'm going to do and then go race it at, at uh, straight rhythm so pretty exciting process i already met with like troy lee to design my gear and uh as soon as i'm able to announce that i'll do that too and kind of want to bring you guys over to his office too if, if uh he's cool with if he's cool with uh cool with me filming but yeah this thing is uh it looks like to me like it's been babied its whole life um there is a lot of oil coming out of the exhaust uh, i guess it's kind of washed off there but all like running down in the motor and stuff so i don't even know if i'm gonna end up using this engine or not this is uh, like the 03 from my understanding the chassis from like 02 to 2007 i think are all the same chassis but they had like different engine stuff. I don't even know really. Different, different parts of the engine. I think the like 05 to 07 engines like had a little bit more top end power. So I might try and source one of those or get some uh, top secret stuff for this thing. But yeah, I got suspension all dialed in. Obviously it's not this stuff, but um, stuff being built right now. And it's gonna be really cool. I'm really excited to like tear this thing completely down. Same thing that we do with the 450L. Tear it all the way down to the frame. I'm gonna do the frame and swing arm colored and then some, you know, <laughs> some special parts here and there, but it's gonna be really rad. I'm, I'm really just, I'm super excited to just get this thing torn apart, get everything off to the powder coaters and the anodizers and and then start getting parts. And then I'll bring you guys along for that whole process. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really fun. So uh, stay tuned, Mikey's almost here. So we're gonna get to wrenching on this thing in just a little bit. <laughs> all right, we got the bike in position. Um, what are we going to do first? Um, figure out how we can keep these handlebars, <laughs> get you to race them. I think we just throw some clicks in the suspension and line up. Yeah, we got a be good. red sticker over here. Oh yeah, I can go do some trail riding. Trail riding. This is pretty much an all round bike. If it was like an L and it was a mission <laughs> legal, like you can go, you can clearly hit ramps with those bars. Um, go trail riding. The pegs are already the SX track. Track. Oh. our likings. You got their clearance. That nice bed. <laughs> and we know it's got oil because there's a ton of oil like dripping out the pipe and down onto the swing arm. So looks that's pretty clean good. too. So we'll probably change it after the race. Just top her off and send it. Yeah, maybe practice. Uh, nah. Um, nah. We're, okay. So what we're gonna do is take off the plastics, throw those away because they're terrible, and then uh, take off subframe. And instead of like on the L, we we took off the suspension, and then we did the motor which was terrible because it kept tilting on the stand. So this time around, we're gonna be smart and leave the suspension on, pull the engine out today. And then uh, I think that's what we'll start off with today and then continue on later this week and uh, post another video, um, taking the rest of the bike apart. So we'll, uh, we'll get down to it right now. All right, two things. One, we're definitely gonna need a new radiator. I don't know if you can see that on film, but Over. things clapped. Rodney later down at Gorman. Anybody got a 03 uh, radiator for sale for a CR250? Hit me up. Uh, go ahead and comment below and give us some details. This is also something I wanted to see on camera. Was uh, see, check out how dirty the air filter is for the first time. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> you can leave that thing in there. Yeah. Go line up. 
Oh yeah, I just ordered new ones though, so that saves a little bit of money too. Is it greased? Yeah, this thing's fully oiled and everything. Oh, homie must have cleaned it for me. <laughs> he forgot to wash, wash the rest of the bike, but he cleaned the air filter before I bought it. Hell yeah. All right, another mini update. Uh, got the plastics off the rear. Subframe looks pretty straight to me, so that's a positive. Don't have to order a new subframe. I should probably actually order another subframe. <laughs> Just to have as a spare. <laughs> you know how torquey these things can be. <laughs> um, but yeah, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna throw, dude, this sticker stokes me out right here. Just being able to rip trails. This one? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just oh, void, 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 void. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Well, there goes that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing on the tripod and keep tearing this thing down. Okay, so we got subframe off, we got tank off. It's so much more simple than, well, any four stroke, but specifically the L. It's just so clean. It's like a wire tucked four stroke. <laughs> but it's pretty clean, actually. I mean, it just, it just looks like it was babied its whole life. Like, hence all the oil everywhere. The pipe that we took off had. Look at all the shell stuff still. Good yeah, shape. everything's pretty dialed. It's just dusty yeah, or stickers. stalled. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty clean in there. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see on the camera, but now. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty good. I'm I'm stoked on it. Like like I said, I mean if the engine's trash, like I'd like to rebuild it anyways and probably not gonna race this engine. But everything that's like important is in good shape. Like frame, subframe, um, swing arm, these wheels we won't use, so yeah. Throw this thing back on the tripod and uh, take off the radiators and then pull the engine out. on there real good. <laughs> it's dust, God's Loctite. It's dust. <clears throat> yeah, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Take two. Take two. Victory. Smooth. Victory. Smooth and easy. This thing. Oh, it's pretty clean actually. It's not that yeah. bad. I thought it was going to be a lot more crusty. Look at that little uh, towel. Yeah. Oh, Everything's just crusted on. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> More coolant. <laughs> Thought we got rid of it all. Good try. Radiator number one is off. There's so much gunk. And it's not focusing. Canon, figure out your focusing system. So much. You look at all that oil. It's so bad. Which is like, kind of sucks because it's a lot to clean. Oh my god, that's beat. <laughs> but at the same time, it's kind of. <laughs> Here. Oh man. Oh, it's so beat. It's kind of good because you know it was babied, but at the same time, it's just really gross taking this all apart. I probably should have washed it, but oh well. It's full sender. Alright, so we're moving a little slower um, off camera than we had expected. So I don't think we're going to pull the engine tonight, but we're going to get everything set up to pull it for um, when we work on it tomorrow. So just going to take off the chain. Uh, we totally forgot, like, the swing arm has to come off, the, obviously the swing arm pivot, 
and uh, I think that's pretty much it and like disconnect a bunch of cables so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then like I said pull the engine tomorrow because we want to get to bed tonight and we got other shit to do so yeah it's moving along pretty good but a little slower than we expected but I mean there are we haven't worked on a two-stroke pretty much ever um, I don't think Mikey has either so get this yeah. thing out of here We got the brake assembly all off. Um, wiped off some of the grease that was on the swing arm. The brake assembly doesn't look too bad. It's just kind of old, but definitely reusable. Um, just need to clean it all up. Um, rear axle. Yeah, rear axle. One rear of the axle. radiators is, I think. Yeah, that see. one's good. This radiator, I think it's the right radiator is good. Just a little bit, but this one might be like. Salvageable. Yeah. Yeah. Back and then this one's this one's, this one's pretty toast. So I think I either get another one or I might be able to bend this back, but I don't know. I'd rather just get a new one. But yeah, rear brake assembly looks all good. We're gonna clean this all up for uh, when we get it all coated and stuff. So yeah, it'll be uh, not bad. Like everything's in good shape. I just I have a feeling this bike was just very babied its whole life. Um, and by that I mean like cruise never like fully even <laughs> revved out. The guy that I bought it for actually said that. His 13-year-old granddaughter had been riding it, which is a very scary thought. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're definitely not going to baby this thing, so we need to make it bulletproof. Mikey brought up a good point. We can't figure out, is the RC valve, is that for Ricky Carmichael valve? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to take that seriously. <laughs> I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to pull some stuff up. I think we should go now. All right, so this is where we're gonna stop for the night. We got pretty far. Like I said earlier, we kind of slowed down a little bit. Once um, we got to this point, it was a little bit more tedious than we had expected, but we've just been uh, spending a little bit of time cleaning up all these parts. I just wanted to get all these pits out of all these little parts. So uh, when we anodize or powder coat or whatever we do to all these parts, it'll uh, be a little bit smoother um, feel to it and not, you know, show through the coating. Um, still got a little bit to go with the cleaning process, but all in all, pretty pretty productive day. But we're actually going to be filming the next video and launching exclusive content on the BTO uh, YouTube channel. So I'll uh, still connect it with my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, and all that stuff so you guys can keep following along with the build. But some of the videos will end up on their channel, um, kind of a cross promotion thing that I'm doing with them. So I'm super excited about that. They're going to be helping a lot with this build, helping me get parts, help me fund it, and uh, help me go race this thing. So thanks for following along. If you don't already, subscribe, like the video, follow myself, follow Mikey, follow Bleach Design Works, and uh, we'll see you at the next video.